everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we have something very special coming your way. Uh, this is an exclusive first look in hand at four of the five Bandai and Tamashii Nations exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con. Now San Diego Comic-Con kicks off of course next week on July 24th um, in San Diego and uh, of the four uh, we, we're go or of the, the five, excuse me, we're going to be looking at four of them, like I mentioned. The three Dragon Ball exclusives, so we have the uh, Goku and Gohan uh, two-pack here. We've got uh, Final Battle Jiren. We've got Future Trunks Super Saiyan. And we've got the SH Monster Arts uh, 1989 Godzilla. So the fifth exclusive will be a Naruto um, Kakashi. SH figure arts figure and uh and also awesome looking um but what we're gonna do is like I said we're gonna take first in hand look at this we'll get these in the light box we'll take a closer look give them a spin show you the whole packaging show you all the accessories all the details all the cool stuff um but before we do that let's do some housekeeping in regards to these so uh these are event exclusives they are available exclusively at San Diego comic-con uh and there are some things that you need to know uh if you plan on getting any of these so the Dragon Ball figures exclusively will require tickets, just like they have in years past. Um, these tickets can, uh, can be obtained at the Dragon Ball Outdoor Activation located at the Marina Terrace uh, at the Marriott Marquis. Uh, so we will put a link in the description with all the instructions on how you, what you need to do in order to get those tickets. We'll, we'll put that below. Um, the Godzilla and the Kakashi figures, they do not require tickets. You can visit the Bandai and Tamashi Nations booth at San Diego Comic-Con and buy them directly. Uh, pricing. So Goku and Gohan, this two pack is going to run you $100. The Future Trunks is going to be $75, uh, as well as Jiren. And uh, Godzilla here will be $95. So uh, I think that takes care of all the housekeeping. Again, reminder, we'll put the booth information. We'll put um, the link to how you obtain the tickets at the, the outdoor Dragon Ball activation for these figures. But I know I'm excited um, and I'm sure you're excited to take a closer look at these to know kind of what you're getting into um, in getting them. So let's get uh, these event exclusives into the light box, give them a spin and take a closer look at what Bandai and Tamashii Nations have planned for San Diego Comic-Con. Let's go! Folks, well, there you have it. There are your your. I'm I'm sorry that this is just really cool and it's distracting me. Uh, <laughs> there is your first look at um the Bandai Tamashii Nations exclusives for San Diego Comic Con 2024, fresh out of the light box. Um, this is something that I have always wanted since I was a kid. So excuse me if I'm a little like shell shocked 
at uh, at holding it, but having Goku on Nimbus with Gohan is just chef's kiss. Um, so we'll start with this one. You know, you saw it around in the light box, the different faces, the different looks for Goku, um, the unique kind of structure of what they did with Gohan here. But this is just like, it might be my favorite uh, SH figure arts release, I think ever. Um, <laughs> uh, this is just like, takes me back to my childhood, takes me back to watching this for the first time on Toonami. Um, you know, this is the gateway anime for so many people, myself included. And to have this as a set is just, it's just awesome. I mean, this is that, that season one Dragon Ball Z Go, Goku. Um, yeah, this is, this is just, this is just tops, man. Like, it's like, you can even recreate the poses, um, from the bumpers and in between the commercial breaks. It's just, it's, it's so, it's so stinking cool. Um, the detachable tail on Nimbus lets you give, get, uh, additional looks of the cloud. You know, you get the kind of swirly look, um, you know, Gohan's lower half comes off. So that way he can, he can be seated. He can sit on Goku's shoulder. Mm. It's just so good. It's just so good. So, um, you know, th that's definitely the highlight of the, which I'm surprised at, by the way, that's. Uh, or I, sh I should say, I'm not surprised that um, that that's the highlight for me. This this was the one I was most excited for, um, and I and I it, it absolutely nailed it. Um, something else that's really cool, which I didn't realize, you can actually pop off a part of the cloud, and there's a port in there um, for a, a Tamashi Nation stage stand, so you can you can pop a stand in there. There's also ports on the bottom, so that way, if you want to put this prop this up on the stand, you absolutely can. Um, it's super light too, which is great. Um, you know, it, it, it's not gonna, you know, it, it holds the weight of the figures, but it feels nice and light, cloud-like even. Um, yeah, and, and the colors on this Goku are just, um, just stellar. Uh, I, I would say I'd compare it most, most closely to the colors that are on the Dragon Ball Super superhero Goku in terms of like the shades of blue and orange. Um, it's, it's, they're a little bit more muted, a little bit darker, uh, and, and honestly, Goku in his, in his standard, um, gi, uh, he has, he has never looked better in SH figure. Um, sticking with Dragon Ball, we'll head on over to Dragon Ball, uh, Super, and we'll take a look at Jiren here from the final battle. Um, something about Jiren and Super Saiyan Trunks that I absolutely love, and, and I love with, um, the previous... Uh, event exclusive releases as I love the pearlescent um, colorway on these. The paint job, the, the, you know, the airbrushing, the ombre on them, um, really, really great job. Uh, if you have uh, already have a Jiren, you are familiar with how this one uh, moves. He's got those deep butterfly joints that really, really get you some awesome, an awesome range of, of motion. Um, without any kind of like, you know, gapping or anything. Like there's a lot of coverage there. Those plates are huge. So lots and lots of movement and expression out of Jiren here. Um, will pair very nicely with your, um, your Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan and, uh, Super Saiyan, uh, uh, Ultra Instinct Gokus, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get more of Jiren if and when uh, Super Saiyan, uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, comes back because this was this final battle. One of one of the coolest things that they did on, on Dragon Ball Super. So really, really great here. Uh, the last of the Dragon Ball exclusives takes us to Future Trunks. And again, we have an awesome, wow, the camera really picks this one up really well. Awesome pearlescent, um, shimmering uh, paint application on trunks here um he's all tattered he's ripped up uh he's he's ready to do uh do battle with goku black um yeah this is this is this is awesome uh very 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 cool uh the translucent hair again something that is usually indicative of these event exclusive releases uh, as you saw a bunch of different face plates there one thing that i do want to call out which i i, I think is fantastic is they re-engineered the um the, the sheath 
for his sword, the scabbard for his sword. Um, previous releases, it was a little finicky to get it on. Um, this, you actually pop the head off and the scarf piece off, and then it kind of ports in um, as one very sturdy piece. Really, really great, love that. Um, you get two swords with him, as you saw, you get the, the broken sword, which is great. Um, and that's the one that ports in nicely there, and then you get the full sword. So uh, again, really, really cool release, really great colorway, um, another another banger of a uh, Trunks figure. So, so really, really cool stuff. And that takes us to Oscar, Oscar winning Kaiju, uh, Academy Award recognized Kaiju. We've got 1989 Godzilla. Well, 89 Godzilla doesn't get that distinction. That guy, that guy back there does, minus one. But for our event exclusive, we have, we have a very angry 1989 Godzilla. Um, he is charged up with some awesome translucent deco on his uh, on his plates, on his back, on his spikes. Um, I, I'm a big proponent of don't fix what's not broken. And these classic Godzilla bodies um, that are that they put out through SH, SH Monster Arts are certainly uh, a case for that. These, they articulate exactly the way that you need them to. They move like um, the actor was able to move in the suit. Um, yeah, it, it, these these classic Godzilla figures are incredible. And this actually, prior to minus one, this was my favorite looking Godzilla, uh, my favorite look for him. So I, I'm super, super excited to have this in my SH Figure Arts collection. Um, I love these Kaiju. I love what, what Bandai and Tamashii Nations does with uh, with Godzilla here. I, I think they're the, the best Godzilla figures around. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to continue adding them and growing that collection uh, with this with this San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So really, really great job with uh, with Godzilla. Again, just look at that, like the frosting detail on that. Just so cool. Very, 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 very cool. And even there's, if you look in between the plates, there's some really great deco in there to kind of emphasize that they're glowing. You know, they change the color of the skin as they glow. So um, as the light bounces off of it. So really, really, really fun collection of exclusives here. So uh, that's it. That's your, your early look at these uh, as they become available next week in San Diego, starting on July 24th. And I'm just gonna give you one more time uh, the rundown, the reminder on what you need to do in order to get these. Uh, so again, the Dragon Ball figures will require tickets. Uh, those tickets can be purchased uh, at the outdoor uh, Dragon Ball activation located at the Marina Terrace uh, Marriott Marquis. And again, there is a link in the description below that shows you a map, all the details, all the things you need to know. Um, Godzilla and the not shown here um, Naruto Kakashi figure, they do not require tickets. Again, booth information, location, all that stuff um, will be in the description below. Goku and Gohan with, uh, with Nimbus will run you $100. Um, Future Trunks will run you $75, as will uh, Jiren here. And then uh, lastly, Godzilla will run you $95. Uh, huge shouts and thanks to uh, our friends at Bandai and Tamashii Nations for trusting us. Um, with uh, an early look here at these. Um, hopefully uh, you're able to get your hands on them because I, I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. Um, they are really, really great. I think this might be the strongest year of exclusives for them um, in quite some time. Uh, th these, these are just, they are, I can't stop. I can't say enough about them. Um, I'll even put it that way. So uh, once again, thank you again to uh, to Bandai and Tamashii Nations for sending these out. Um, we unfortunately will not be in person in San Diego this year. Hopefully in one of these upcoming years, um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get out there, but uh, we will be at Anime NYC, which is a little bit later this, this summer in August. And then of course at New York Comic Con in the fall. So uh, with that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss it when we post new videos while you're liking and subscribing to things uh give us a follow here at aic underscore podcast on instagram x tiktok all the places where we're constantly posting toy news deals availability anything and everything that we think would help out the community and then of course you can uh, listen to us here at the podcast so adventures in collecting you can find us wherever you find podcasts simply search for adventures in collecting or hit that link in the description below, which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. 
uh, leave us a comment too. Which is your favorite? Which one are you most excited about? What are you hoping to see uh, revealed from Bandai and Tamashii Nations at San Diego Comic-Con? Because you know they're gonna bring reveals. There's gonna be new stuff. So um, personally, I am excited for more My Hero Academia from them. So that, that, uh, that deck looks great. But let us know in the comments, what are you excited about? And, uh, and I guess as always, there goes Tokyo. Until next time.